J Harlem 25th asks, Sorry about all the caps, he's written all the caps, but ask Stevie, is it true that when he signed with WCW, Scott Hall ribbed him by saying Kevin Nash was looking for you, Mr. Big Stevie Cool? Yes. <laughs> Tell you about the story, I don't well, know. I it's actually one of my favorite moments because that Scott's always had a thing, and rest in peace to Scott. It's a shame he's not around because you want to talk about a guy that gave, wanted to give a lot to younger opponents and back to the business and was a workhorse in doing that. But when he saw me, he, and dude, you got to think, I've never met any of these guys, any of them, none of them, not even a call or a tag. Yeah, back then it was, you know, there wasn't really texting or getting online or anything outside of like prodigy at the time. But uh, yeah, I walked in that building. I'm like, what? Do, I don't know what to expect. And then that's when Scott shook my hand. He's like, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan, man. But oh, Kev, look out. He's like, so I, I didn't avoid Kevin, but then again, I wasn't looking for Kevin at the same time. So, and he's pretty easy to spot down a hallway. So, you know, if I saw, <laughs> but I was trying to formulate how I would just like say, Hey guys, I had nothing to do with that and whatever. And for people laughing, it's a, it's a, it was a different time. It was still in between really protecting your business and exposing whatever. And also you got to remember the reputation of these guys from the click in WWE I'm thinking I'm very day one that they can't take a joke, that they don't have a good outlook on her. They don't see it as a sign of respect, but disrespect. All these things run through my mind. So when uh, Scott said that, obviously I'm scared. Like, oh man, what's going to happen? You know, be, getting beat up is easy, but getting fired day one, that's the hard part. So right before I went and got into my rental car, I just, I literally felt he's so tall. I feel his hair <laughs> up the temple <laughs> so i turn around and i look up at him and it should have been filmed because it was great well 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 big cv cool we meet at last and my back is up against the, the rattle car and i'm like hey man i'm i'm just want to let you know i'm so sorry and i go paul wanted us to do it and i never met disrespect and he was like hmm so he just got he goes all right we'll see about that or something like to let me sweat it he gets in his rental car and he calls me over and he goes, dude, I'm just messing with you. He goes, we all think it's fantastic. And I go, I could have just fell on the ground, <laughs> passed out. And I was just like, man, I, I, we, we love doing it, but we wanted to reach out to you. But I was scared that what would you say if I called? He goes, dude, don't worry about it. He goes, did you at least get paid for the shirts? And I was like, no. And he goes, now I got heat with you. That's what he said. <laughs> Did you ever hear what but Hulk I, thought about it? Did did do you ever get any feedback from Hulk? If you know Hulk Hogan or you met him, he loves everything you do. Ah. He's such a big fan. It's so much, brother. I pop for everything you do, which automatically when he said that, I'm like, we're so buried. Oh my god, 